Hello South Africa, today is Friday August 18th here are the top 4 stories that have made the headlines. Video inside car before horrific accident that killed an entire family. A chilling video emerged from inside the car involved in a horrific accident that killed an entire family. A loving couple, Zikona Hilini and Sandile sister, with their two little boys, Kangain, three, and Azings, one, her boyfriend was in the vehicle with Zikona's mother Noyak and sister Dembella when their vehicle, a Mini Cooper, collided with another vehicle on the N2 near Storms Rivia. A man who pulled a student's hair has been granted bail. A man who was spotted pulling a student's hair at Crowthorn Christian Academy in Midrand, Johannesburg, has appeared in court. He was granted 2,000 rand bail. An assault charge was opened with police after a man was seen pushing a student. There was a dispute over the learner's extensions slash dreadlocks. The incident took place at the Crowthorn Christian School in Midrand, Johannesburg. Seal, Meshetel didn't witness in one assault, but was in convoy. Police Minister Becky Seal says Deputy President Paul Moshetile was in fact part of the convoy when members of his VIP security team assaulted three men on the N1 highway in Johannesburg. Seal appeared before Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Wednesday, August 16, 2023, where he faced questions from MPs about matters pertaining to the South African Police Service, SAPS, including the infamous assault. Salary of Multi-Choice CEO Calvo Mawela revealed. DSTV may be seeing a decline in its premium subscribers, but you best believe that its executives, especially the men at the helm, are still receiving some pretty generous pay packages. Calvo Mawela, who is Multi-Choice Group CEO reports his remuneration from the company in US dollars and doesn't even live in South Africa. Calvo Mawela received a total pay package of a whopping $2.62 million, that's close to 47 million rand, as of the end of March 2023. We pay cash for videos. WhatsApp, 060-011-021-1. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.